Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Q. I am in my father-in-law's vintage house. It's actually a 1984 vintage house. It's got popcorn ceilings. Before we start to remove them, we, and like you, should definitely test for them. I'm here to get a sample. A lot of information out there on this subject. Some good information in the description to this video, links to the EPA, some of the equipment I use. It's a very simple project. You can do a little bit of work and save yourself a lot of money. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna talk about the few things you need for this project. The most important thing is probably a respirator. This is a P100 respirator. Grab one of these no matter what you're doing in the home. Uh, I've got some goggles to cover my eyes, water, something to scrape it with. You can use a screwdriver and a baggie labeled with the address, the room you took it for, and the date you got it. That's what the EPA recommends. Let's get this on, let's get to it. Start by spraying the ceiling in conspicuous location right on the inside of this closet. Luckily, popcorn ceilings are very easy to remove as long as they haven't been painted. Take a spray bottle with water, whatever you've got, and give it a generous amount of water and then let it sit. Throw your equipment on. I've got a little bit of overkill going here. Have that respirator though, that is important. I'm using a putty knife, I recommend this. You can use a screwdriver, but just make sure you don't damage that drywall. You'll have more to fix later. The EPA recommends grabbing about a tablespoon size sample. I got a little bit more than that. You can see right here about a playing deck size card sample. Off to the lab, results in one second. I happen to use EMC Labs here in Phoenix. Just Google asbestos testing and find a local lab close to you. This one was $20 for a one day turnaround. All right, maybe a couple more seconds. Check out the link in the description below. Links in the description below for important EPA information. Some of the equipment I use, especially that respirator, which is so important in this job. Here are the results. I'm covering up my address. We are negative for asbestos. Don't let a contractor talk you into expensive removal, especially if there's no asbestos in your popcorn ceilings. Definitely get it tested. This is a job that you can easily do. Probably save yourself some money. That's it for this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.